The Amazing Atheist. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Those are the first words ever uttered by a man standing on the surface of the moon. Neil Armstrong died yesterday at age 82. Neil Armstrong took a single step that changed the course of human history. Neil's first step on the moon was the portent of a new age of human history. No longer were we barbarians fighting for status and resources, but intrepid explorers seeking out new wonders in an indescribably vast cosmos. Neil took his famous step in 1969. Here we are, 43 years later. Neil Armstrong is dead. Here's a list of things he didn't see in his lifetime. He never saw us set up a permanent base on the moon. He never saw a manned mission to Mars. He never saw another explorer top his singularly powerful accomplishment. Unfortunately, what he did see is the gutting of NASA for partisan political reasons. Not much fuss was made by common people. Because ultimately, the drive to explore is in some of us, but most of us are all about the status quo. The sentiment of most people is, things are fine as they are. The world is a certain way, and it can be no other way. Neil probably laughed at that. He stood in front of a doorway to a new way of life, and he opened it for us to walk through. Instead, we closed it and walked away. Did you ever imagine that five years after first going to the moon that we'd abandon the Apollo program? I knew we would have a, a limited life, but I must say it, w it was a bit shorter than my expectation. I fully expected that by the end of the century, we would have achieved substantially more than we actually uh, did. At the end of the day, we have to admit that America only went to the moon to prove its superiority to its rival country, the Soviet Union. We were never intrepid explorers seeking out new wonders in an indescribably vast cosmos. We are, and always have been, barbarians fighting for status and resources. We only achieve great feats of exploration to prove that we are more innovative and adventurous than our rivals. Power over our fellow man is, at the end of the day, a banal form of power. The power of one ape to make another ape do tricks is an empty power praised by stunted halfwits. True power comes from knowledge. Knowledge gave us the power to split the atom, to map the genome, and to walk upon the face of the moon. So go forth, humankind. Seize true power for yourselves. Seek knowledge wherever it may be hiding. Take one small step for yourself but one giant leap for your species.